Hey guys, it's Javier with Brush Plus Roller Painting. And if you guys want to learn how to spray your garage door, then stay tuned. Okay guys, so the first step that we want to do is we want to go ahead and place a piece of paper in between where the door is going to shut. And we're just going to basically tape that down to the concrete. Sometimes the concrete is a little difficult for it to stick, so we use a, a frog production tape, an orange, what is it, a frog tape, orange production tape. So we'll get that, uh, you know, taped down, and then we'll start, you know, just, you can see that area starting to peel off right here. So we'll sand that down. And the color is going to be the same as the brick. So, I mean, it's not going to be too difficult. We don't have to prep too much of the of the brick here so we'll show you what that looks like here so we got our 395 pc set up we got very little paint so i'm hoping that the little bit that we got here is going to be enough we're going to be using a let me show you we're going to be using a graco uh compact pc gun one of the new ones and we're going to be using a fine finish tip uh 310 i don't know if you can see it i know it's a little bit dirty but it's going to be a fine finish 310 tip with and for the fine finish tips you need the rack x guard so all right guys so we're just going to finish up prepping here as you can see you know we got our prep on that side and we'll close the door here in a few and we'll show you what that looks like. Guys, I completely forgot we dropped down the door and we have a little glass on it. So we have to cover them. We don't have any liquid mask. Um, I don't know, liquid mask paint to be able to just, you know, put it on there right quick. So we'll just mask those off right quick and then we'll start the painting process. What we want to do is we want to start from the top pull the trigger don't let go until you get to the bottom that way to avoid any spits and i always say go from top to bottom that way you're not walking endlessly you know horizontally do it vertically because that way you walk in one direction when you get to the end you're already done spraying versus walking back and forth If you're finding this video helpful, then please like it. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment and I will definitely reply to you. Also, subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends that are interested in paintings and other things that you want us to post on. all right guys so we ran out of paint so i have to go get some more so we're going to start at where we ended hopefully it's the same match other than uh, i mean otherwise i'm just gonna have to respray the whole thing which is not a problem but here we go
I'm about eight, about eight to 10 inches from the surface. And as you could tell when I was, uh, when I sprayed this hat, you can see a little bit of the tailing. I upped the pressure a little bit. And the reason I had it low is because I didn't want to run out of paint. So now I mean we got a fresh gallon, so we'll be okay. And that's how you spray your door. 